trip to me to be at your favourite city it is Tuesday. It's scorched real hot. You know it's scorched real hot when I got my beanie on. Um, I am actually that old. The beanie just hides it. Uh, just got my way to work walking through the park. Um, I haven't sold anything in two days. But I'm not... I think this thing of putting pressure on myself to hit these targets, I've just got to kind of... Now, if the listings are there, it's probably because it's been sunny days and a really nice weekend that people haven't been in um, cheering themselves up by buying crap off the internet. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see. Hopefully I'll get a sale today, because three days... No, I'm not going to panic even if it's three days. But yeah, it's been a pretty crap couple of days when it comes to it. I've been listening like crazy. We were out yesterday. Um, but I've been listening like crazy over the weekend. Got the majority of the stuff from um, the charity shop and the car boot listed. But so I haven't had any sales. And when I'm looking at like the views on the items, not a lot coming up. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, as I said, if I come to the end of May, I haven't hit the target that I want to hit, then it's um, it's time to look at ways I'm doing it and change certain things that I'm doing, but I'm not going to panic yet. We're only on the, can't remember, of May. So, we'll see what happens. But for now, it's lovely and sunny. Too bad I got work. I'll see you later. What up, YouTube? Me, it's me, your favourite today. Um, I think I'm going to be a little bit quiet. I think there's still some deer in the building. Because not everybody said bye to me, but I haven't got time to hang out. She catches me talking to myself. She catches me. Oh, well. Um, sales are dead. I've had one. Oh, I've ju I was just checking on my, fig my 2017 figures. And I'm at this point in 2017 in May doing better than I am now. That's not a good thing. I wanted to hit double. I don't see it happening. I'm going to get on a pretty big listing fee. Listing fee. Listing, listing spree. And just keep listing, listing, listing. Um, those shorts that I was mentioning in another video the other day, the Gracie Barrow shorts. Um, I listed them last night. I shot for thirty-five quid. Uh, I've already got three watches on them, and somebody's asked me a question about the size. So, looks like I might I wish I'd gone for more now. They'd they'd only sold. I think that not my particular ones, but some had sold for thirty. So I just shot for thirty-five. Um, you know when sales are crap. And stuff starts going through your head about how uh, can you improve, what can you do, all this jazz. Um, I saw now if you're proper like old school. So I was interrupted. Yeah. So um, as I was saying, you know, you start like going, oh, what are you gonna do? It's the end of the world. You know what I mean? And you start like thinking, how can you start making money somewhere else? Um, when I first started doing research, obviously the first person I came across was Nick. Um, and through Nick I ended up finding a guy called Ken Chapman. He, he still sells, he comes up on the tap chat every now and then, but um, he doesn't do videos anymore. Um, and he used to sell a lot of postcards. Uh, and uh, yeah, he used to sell quite a few. Um, so being the newbie, and I used to love Ken's videos because Ken used to sell very like old vintagey stuff, like proper, really good stuff. He used to buy job lots from auctions and stuff like that. He still does. He's that's the <laughs> past tense. Um, but uh, one of the things that. Always used to because when I first started, when I first started, I, I'm I'm going off on a tangent now. But when I first started, I used to sell T-shirts on 
my own personal website. It didn't do very well. I maybe sold five in the three months that it was open, but it was crap. Um, so what I did is I tried to take that money from uh, what the money that I'd invested into the t-shirt e-commerce business and try and put it into the eBay reseller. Um, when I first started eBay recently and I didn't have a clue what I was doing and I just started buying job lots of matchbox cards, um, postcards and military buttons. Still got matchbox cards, military buttons uh, listed. Um, but the postcards, I saw him talk around the tap chat today. Um, he still lists a lot of postcards. I know I've got a crap load of postcards in my... Well, not a crap load. Probably close to 100 to 200 postcards in my house. And I'm just... I don't know. I was just thinking about it today. going... That my... I, I was looking back through my figures. Um, you don't make a lot of money on them. And obviously, you've got to come across a really good postcard to make all right money on them. Um... Look, the ones I sold, I made one to two pound on each postcard. But I think it's the theory of it gets more eyes on your on your um, on your store, and a pound's better than a kick in the dick, ain't it? So I was just like, I don't know, I'm in an hour in because I've got a load, and I'm always looking for stuff to list. So I'm just thinking of maybe going through. Going through those postcards and just start listing them again. Start going through that again. Uh, the other thing, I was watching Sue's Piles of Shame video, um, the live stream earlier, and I think I've I've got to change my rule when it comes to clothing. Um, when it comes to clothing and what I'm going to charge, normally my rule of thumb when I come up with the price is obviously going into sold listings and um, going that way. Um, but like I think I showed it in my charity shop video last couple of videos back. Um, I bought a, I got a pile of clothes that were just they, there was no money in them really on eBay, and I think I need to start maybe going through a pound rack and just saying right, I'm going to charge a fiver. Just to get rid of it. Instead of it sitting there. I get me doing it with the toys. Like I, I got that good dinosaur toy the other day. And maybe, maybe you could do it with clothes. If you've got a bundle of shorts. Or you've got a bundle of t-shirts. But like that good dinosaur mask. I'm going to get another good dinosaur thing. And then make a bundle. I suppose you could do it with shorts. I don't know. I, just, I don't know. I don't know whether I can be bothered. <laughs> so I looked at those shorts the other day, they cost me, I think it was one ninety nine. I'm thinking about just listing them for a fiver. Screw it. You know what I mean? Instead of them just sitting in there, sitting there waiting for me to come to buy another pair of shorts. Yeah. But that's the stuff that's going on in my mind. I've had one sale since the 5th. What were you doing? Um, just in the shed. Going to get some stuff for the door. Going to get some stuff to um, list for tonight. Get my night listing on. Um, just done my second 5k of the week. Did one yesterday. Um, I messed up. She wanted to bring a load of Tupperware home. I was piling up at work. So I couldn't run from work. Um, so I ended up having dinner, waiting about 45 minutes and then going for a run. So I think that ended me a bit, so I didn't do as good as last Wednesday's run. Which I'm pretty good, so I've got to do a good 10k on Friday. Fingers crossed. Anyway, yeah, I'm going to get some stuff out of the shed. Um, I think about my knee as well. I felt go out on me while I was running. No, it's not feeling the best. But yeah. Um, also, some people have mentioned that, well, no, actually, it's not even mentioned. We were watching back some videos the other day, and when I talk like, you can't hear what I'm saying, so 
I apologise, I will try and adjust my volume and projection to the video. Anyway, um, yeah, also, I'm standing in boxes and flip flops, so I need to hurry up because I don't want neighbours to see me. Didn't see anything. Show you the shed. So, yeah, shed's looking rammed. It's a lot of them eBay boxes, though, to be fair. Um, and seeing as I, I have, I thought why my sales have been pretty well, not low but slow, is um, a lot of it. I'm not seeing any Ben 10 or WWE at the minute. I sold a little bit of Ben 10 last week, but the Ben 10 or WWE is not going anywhere at the minute. But yeah, I'm gonna grab that bag and then I'm gonna um, start listening. Uh, oh, that plane. Also, that's my clothing tub at the minute, that's all my clothing in there, so it's all starting to pile up my electrical stuff's down there yeah, the shed's getting full again I'm going to get some stuff out, I'm going to start listing well, bit close, oh YouTube just about to go to bed um I should speak here shouldn't I, don't know why the kids up it's a bit too close um yeah just about to go to bed. I had a pretty good night of listening tonight. Got about about twelve misted after my run. Um, yeah, it's a pretty productive night. I'm gonna get bed now. I'm knackered. My knee. I think I've done something to my knee. I'm too old to be running. I'm too old to be running twenty k twenty k a week. But I'm gonna give it a go Friday. Screw it. As I said, if it gets injured, it gets injured. I can't go to work, can I? Um, yeah. But I've just been looking through those postcards. Uh, I think I'm gonna get back into postcards. I think I am. I've got some more. Out there. Um, also, I need to look at the clip. Um, that I just did outside, just in case it's seen any meat and two veg. Not these boxes don't really leave much of the imagination. I'm joking. Now they don't really. I'm really bad with boxes. Anyway, you don't need to know. Uh, for now, this is um, this has been today's vlog. So yeah, it's coming. Peace out, stay safe, stay beautiful, and I will see you in my next video. I'm not promising any lives. I need to get the balls. I need to pluck up the courage to do a live. See you later.